In this video, I'm gonna give you the most practical way to completely turn your dating life around and honestly, just completely become a man that you're proud of. Um, and it's not gonna be probably my most popular video. I mean, honest, uh, this will not be the most clickbaity thing I've ever made. Um, a lot of people will probably click off because they're like, oh, this is boring. This isn't, oh, this isn't the secret. This isn't the secret to like getting women. Um, but I wanna tell you guys, like, honestly, just the truth. And the truth is that if you want to become good with women, if you want to become attractive, you should not be aiming to become good with women and get tons of dates and get tons of sex from nothing in like less than six months. You really shouldn't be. And this doesn't mean that you shouldn't get you know, a coach or a mentor. Like I, I have gotten coaches in the past and my transformation really took like when you get down to it, like getting from where I'm kind of okay with women to, uh, or not even like good. Like I, I was really bad with women when I was like 18. And around the age of 24, I got very good with women, like pulling every night from the bar, you know, getting tons of dates, getting tons of attention from women. And it took a pretty big drastic transformation for me over those six years in order to get that. And so what I wanna talk about in this video is that I want you to focus not on how can I get these results as soon as possible, but how can I get these results guaranteed? Because if I had started, you know, six years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago, learning how to attract women, and I had more of a long-term, like, okay, in four years, I just wanna be a killer. I wanna be an absolute player. I want women to love me. In four years, I would have probably gone about things way differently, and I would have gotten there faster than me, what I did, which was like chase a six month result over and over and over again. I'd be like, okay, this six month goal, this six month goal. And it took me like a lot longer. It took me like six years to actually become a guy where I feel like I am kind of a player. I'm like pretty good with women, women like me in general. And I, I almost just have this like aura about me that women can tell that I'm a player. And it took a long time to get there when it could have taken way less time if I just did the guaranteed route. And so I'm gonna talk about what the guaranteed route is in this video, but I want you to pay attention. If you don't watch to the end, you're not gonna understand exactly what I'm saying. Because a lot of you guys will watch to now and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, just like, you know, slow progress and you know, take it slow and delay gratification and all that stuff. And like, yeah, that's part of it. That's part of what you need to do. But also you need to have like this hunger inside you to get results, to get better. And and you should really be looking for chances to take opportunities to invest in yourself and, and use the time that you have free because here's the facts. Over the next five years, if you want to get very good at women, you're going to have maybe two, three, if you're lucky, four, three to six month periods where you can actually focus on it. everything else. Life's going to be throwing curveballs at you. Life's going to be really like testing your patience and testing you and you're not going to be able to focus on data. The amount of guys that I talk to that they have the opportunity to invest in themselves and then they don't do it, they don't pull the trigger. It's not because they don't have the money, they just don't do it. They don't wanna, you know, actually commit to, you know, I'm gonna invest thousands of dollars into my dating life. The amount of guys I talked to then, like a year and a half ago, and then they're in the same place now and they haven't they haven't had time to focus on their dating lives, it's because you only get a few times in a few years to actually look in the mirror and be like, oh shit, I haven't made the progress that I'm happy with. I need to push myself further. And so really what you need to do is you need to start looking for these opportunities where your life has enough freedom, you have enough space in order to take action and change your actions, change your life, okay? And so I'm gonna give some very specific examples. If you have a little bit of money saved, and this is the first time you've had money saved in your life, do not save that money and keep it. You need to invest it in something, like whether it's a mentor, like myself, or like someone else that you look up to that can teach you exactly what you need to do, or it's investing in something that is, is actually building you skills, not just, like, not just like stocks and crypto. That's not gonna get you ahead of where you need to be. What you need to actually do is sit down and think like, all right, I have a certain amount of money, I have some time. What skills can I build so that I can explode my income? What skills can I build so that I can explode my dating life? Because here's the thing, you're not going to get any results that are long lasting by using a little bit of money to go on dates 
or using a little bit of money to like go make some small changes in your life so you get passive returns, you're gonna actually get the most results by investing in yourself to build skill sets and build character traits that will help you in the future. All right, so I want you guys to really understand that if you are going to improve your day life, if you wanna turn things around and you feel stuck, the best thing you can do is right now, the opportunity where you feel the worst about your day in life is the one time where you actually have enough mental clarity where you can be like, holy shit, I hate my situation. I'm gonna change it. Because we're, I mean, I know that you probably resonate with this if you're still watching. You do not get infinite amounts of time to look in the mirror and be like, fuck, I hate my situation. Half the time, you don't even have enough mental clarity to like think that you don't like your situation. You're so distracted, you're watching YouTube, you're watching Instagram, you're just, you're stuck in your head and you're just constantly thinking about how much life sucks. And then eventually you get the mental clarity to be like, fuck, I wanna change. And then that's when you actually have the time to take, the, the time to take action. That's why coaching is so important because you need to take advantage. Like this is just the facts of life. You need to take advantage of your motivation when you have it to build more experience and build more skill sets. Because if you do not do that, then you will have all this motivation, you'll be fine, you'll kind of be coasting. And I know this because I've done this throughout my whole life. You'll coast because you have motivation, you'll do pretty well. And then as soon as the motivation goes away, you're gonna go back to baseline. And if you raise that baseline while you had this motivation, then your baseline's not as bad and you kind of stay the same. So that's what I'm doing personally in my business. I'm trying to set myself up so that I know I'm motivated now. I've been uploading pretty much every day for the past like four to six months or four to five months. and. I'm happy with that, but here's the thing. I know it's not gonna be like that forever. I can already feel my motivation going away. I know it goes away in the winter. And so, what am I gonna do? I'm, I'm building systems so that I don't have to worry about that in the future. And that is such a requirement. If you do not set up systems and skill sets and character traits inside yourself so that you know for a fact, no matter what happens, I will be fine when I lose motivation, then you are fucked. You are so fucked. Okay? You have to make massive changes while you have motivation because if you do not, nothing will change in the long run. You will be that guy that is like, oh, I got a girlfriend because I have motivation. And then the girl leaves you and you're completely stuck. I've literally talked oh, I've literally talked to guys. I'm <laughs> not fucking editing this video. Um, I've literally talked to guys that have you know, gone and, and gotten girlfriends and because they had all this motivation, they talked to me, they, they were like, yeah, man, I, I kind of want to do your program, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to try to do it on my own. They do it on their own, and it's great. I'm really happy for them, and they get a girlfriend. But then guess what? A year later, they're back in the same exact position. The same exact position, because they don't have the skill sets. They didn't build up any character traits. They're not a different person. They're just a guy that got a girlfriend, and then they're back to baseline again. And I've seen this happen so many times, and I don't want this to happen to you. Because if you're watching this channel, if you're watching a small, dating YouTube channel, you probably have some motivation. You probably want to make a fucking change. If you want to make that goddamn change, then you need to do something about it, okay? There's a link below where you can book a call with me where I will talk about, you know, options. I have, I have multiple options for my coaching, so you don't just have to do, like, the high ticket, like, $3,000 thing. There's also ways to get in and get help from me and get all, access to all the same resources that my high-paying clients get for less than $1,000, around $500 right now. So there's ways to do this and get access to my community where like the private community with all my clients. So there's ways to do this. Book a call with me down below if you want actual help. But beyond that, like literally, if you don't do anything, just know that you need to build systems and raise your baseline while you have motivation. Because if you do not, you will be fucked and you will be in this perpetual cycle of, oh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, and then you'll fall. And oh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, and then you fall. Right, you're gonna be stuck in that perpetual cycle. So go out, make a change, go do something, change something about your life. Make no excuses. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, comment below, let me know what you want to see from me in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one.